Mark Quinn ist einer der spannendsten britischen zeitgenössischen Künstlern. Er zeigt hier drei Werkgruppen. Das ist einmal eine Skulptur, das sind Tapisserien und vier Ölgemälde. Es geht Mark Quinn nie um den einzelnen Konflikt, sondern es geht ihm immer darum, wie diese Konflikte in den Medien abgebildet sind. Und es geht ihm darum, was diese Dauerpräsenz der Bilder mit unserer Wahrnehmung dieser Konflikte macht. Um das Thema Krieg geht es auch im anderen Ausstellungsraum. Dort zeigen wir eine Gruppenausstellung mit syrischen Künstlern. The title is inspired by the first line of a poem by Nizar Abbani, whereby he extols all the beauty of Damascus and how happy he was to return after so many years. So whereas he was writing a poem for Damascus's beauty, we're doing a show lamenting the situation we're, we're finding ourselves in. So the, the voice rings out for the Syrian people. There are artists from all sorts of backgrounds, whether it's Armenian or Kurdish or from Damascus. The point is to create a harmony and a unity. One voice of all the Syrians saying, we want peace, we want to live in harmony, we want a better future for our children. I wanted to get back a sense of pride. I wanted the best artists in this show so that any Syrian walking in remembers the heyday of Syria and what we're all about. And what I love, um, one of the artists, a photojournalist called Ammar Abdrabbo, he went back to Aleppo as a photojournalist. And rather than showing the misery, he's showing the heroic aspects of surviving in everyday life. So one of the young boys is selling generic fruit, just like beautiful with roses and apples, beautiful colors. And behind him is a big bus that's sheltering him from the sniper attacks. But it shows a kind of resilient, heroic perseverance. We're a proud nation and people who want to work and survive. And hopefully peace will return and then we'll be able to show the world the beautiful culture that we used to welcome. Mm -hmm.